What is up people of the reefing world? Welcome to my channel. My name is Korn and today I'm going to talk about Deptasia and how to deal with it. Uh, so uh, stick around if you want to hear my opinion. If you like to support this channel, check out the description down below, like and subscribe with that out of the way. Let's jump into our topic of today. So Aptasia, you got Aptasia most likely. So that's why you're here. Aptasia is very good in life. So even if you have it, don't worry about it that much. Lots of reefers have it. Lots of reefers are dealing with it successfully. Same here in this tank that you guys are actually looking at. I don't have Aptasia, but this is just an enemy tank. I haven't added not a single frag plug or a coral or nothing like that that can go in, inside this tank. But on my other mixed reef tank, I've got them and I'm dealing with them. The best way of dealing with them is, is to deal with them right away when you see one. Even if your tank is fully loaded of Aptasia, don't worry about it. You can still deal with it. Aptasia is not a thing that you have to start all over that's for sure again i said there's lots of ways how you can deal with aptasia today i'm going to talk about a few that i know and a few that i've heard and my, my opinions about those let's get it the first thing that i i like the most is manual removal if you see aptasia on your sand on anywhere on a frag plug or anywhere any anything that you can remove from your tank just remove it that might be the best way of doing it. The other thing is caulk paste. You basically make a mixture of our water, a little bit of caulk, and you turn off the flow and you just spray them on them. You can do that. These days, I like to use f -Aptasia. It's kind of very similar like that, but like caulk paste, but it forms a little bit of a crust on the top. It kind of doesn't Aptasia come back. So it kills Aptasia and it closes that whole area. How to use f -Aptasia? I've seen on the bottle, has it that you have to turn off all your flow in your tank meaning the return pump and your circulation pumps in the tank you've got to turn them off for 30 minutes i suggest doing that even for longer than an hour maybe hour and 15 minutes hour and a half or so because you don't want all that resin when you turn on back your flow to just go all over your tank you kind of don't want to do that you kind of want that resin to stay there where you put it which is on top of the Aptasia. Again, there's lots of other ways that you can deal with Aptasia. You can use any kind of epoxy and just kind of close it all together, super glue put on it, remove stuff that you can. Again, even if you haven't removed Aptasia, first Aptasia that you see in your tank, don't worry about it. Even if your tank is full of Aptasia, don't worry about it. Just start dealing with them. Don't complain, just watch this video and start to implement things. As I said, that's one of the best ways of doing it, just doing it manually as much as you can. And there's other invertebrates that we use in this hobby and fish as well that help us eradicate Aptasia. I've used Aptasia eating nudies, nudie branks. They're like small little itsy bitsy nudies that you purchased and you put them in your tank. Usually you, you'll turn off your flow. Usually you, turn, you put them in there during the night so your fish won't pick at them again for every single invertebrate or a fish there's positives and negatives about them it's a little bit tricky because you never know if they're gonna work or not as far as nudies go they will work for sure as long as you don't have any of the shrimps in your tank or any of the wrasses they'll eat them so they'll work but if you have lots of wrasses lots of shrimps or even even crabs you want to pay attention with those so they don't nip them you'll never see nudibranch eating aptasia i never seen them i've seen them just online if people put them in a little bowl and they have aptasia and they do a long video they make it shorter and they show you how it eats aptasia i never seen it eat aptasia how they work is basically you just wake up one day and kaboom aptasia is gone or half of this is gone. The other half is still there. And in a few days, they'll take care of those as well. And that's about it. So positives are, they definitely work, but you have to make sure not to have lots of fishes and vertebrates, they'll, they'll kind of eat them. After, when they're done eating all of the in your tank, it's kind of hard for you, if you have some other tanks or you want to give them away or sell them, it's kind of tricky for you to pick them up and do that from your tank so then most likely it's going to happen the rest that stay there most likely they'll die and again aptasia is very good at life it'll pop up even when it's gone it'll pop up after they eat them all again don't worry about all that don't spend a ton of money 
on nudies and thinking when they eradicate aphantasia, there is going to be gone and that's uh, that's it. I suggest having always aphantasia on your hand or cockwats or just keep it in mind aphantasia is going to pop out one more time. You're going to have to deal with it. All right. What I tried else? I think I tried peppermint shrimp. Right. Let me tell you one more thing. I told you that uh, some of the shrimps and fish will eat nudies. If you tried before, if you added peppermint shrimp to deal with aphantasia and now you're adding nudies, that peppermint shrimp might eat that nudity. So be, be very careful about that. But peppermint shrimps, if you want a peppermint shrimp to deal with your aphantasia problem, you have to add a lot, a lot of them at once. I kind of don't like a lot of shrimps in my tank. They like to pick on my LPS as well. If I feed on enemies or any other coals or grab, they'll steal pieces from them, basically from their mouth. And enemies need five to 10 minutes to grab all that food. And here goes shrimp and grabbing that food from the mouth and pulling it out and grabbing it for themselves. So they're a little bit tricky to deal with. If you think you won't have none of those problems, they might be fine for you. Uh, one more thing about shrimps. They're kind of territorial. They like their own space. They like their own rock and they won't go everywhere around the tank looking for aphantasia. That what they won't do. If there's a potato on the specific rock and you add pepper and shrimp and there's no peppermint from that specific rock, they won't touch it. They just won't. You have to add a lot of peppermint shrimp in the tank so they can do something. All right. Again, that's one of the ways that I kind of tried, but not really. I never added a lot of them in, a, in my tanks because I don't really like them. So that's not my kind of go-to way of dealing with Aptasia. Some people like those. Here they are. I mentioned them. There's a few more fish that deal with those as well. Copper and butterfly, one of my favorite fishes in this hobby, but it's so finicky. You never know which specimen you're getting because some of them are kind of tricky to keep alive. If you get a specimen that eats just Aptasia and eats all food that you feed in your tank, you feed to other fish, that's great. Hopefully that fish works out for you great. Most of them are kind of finicky. Most of them are really just one specific type of food and might not even look in your Aptasia. It might actually like your LPS and some of the softies. Again, every single thing has its positive and negatives. I'm not telling you not to try copper and butterfly fish because you definitely can. I've seen some captive rays Hopefully that's going to happen. They'll be such a great thing in this hobby so we can have them captive bread. But they're not here right now. Hopefully they'll come soon and we'll welcome them. That's for sure. As I said, that's one of my favorite fish in this hobby. So hopefully they'll happen. I think there's one more fish out there. I think it's filefish that eats aptasia as well. Never tried that one, but I'm just putting it out there. I've seen some people having good luck with those. Again, those can kind of grabs your other corals as well so just keep an eye on that all right if you guys have any further questions just drop them down below like this video subscribe again i'm posting videos every single week every saturday around noon i upload a video again don't bother yourself if you have if you've just seen aptasia in your tank as i just told you it's not a big deal you just keep in mind you have to deal with them and that's about it all right if you guys have any further questions, drop them down below. See you guys in the next one.